Let me just uh, have a breather because I'm, yeah, a little bit stressed. Okay. So this is being recorded now, just to let uh, everybody know. Okay, let's go back. I will share again my screen. Okay, as I was saying, referencing is a skill on Microsoft Word. It is on Microsoft Word so that when you prepare reports, your thesis on Microsoft Word, this will be easy for you. And I hope you can practice this or you can uh, apply this when you go to the bachelor or even here in the foundation program. Okay, so uh, why is it very important at Geotech? Because we do not tolerate plagiarism at Geotech. We do not tolerate copying of other works, maybe in the internet or not, of course. Okay, uh, we have a software here uh, called Turn It In, T U R N I T I N, Turn It In. Okay, uh, we're in it will check for the sources. Okay, or if you copied some phrases, paragraphs, words, okay, set of words, okay, from other sources. So it depends on the teacher or the work, how many percentage can be copied uh, verbatim, meaning word for word from other sources. So some of the uh, projects or some of the two theses Maybe if it is just a project, you can have a maximum of 20% or 80% uh, must be original, 20% can be copied. Some of this, maybe thesis, they will allow only for 5% or less, we do not know. Okay, so because a thesis is a longer document, so therefore like around 2,000, 1,500 words, I don't know. So it's, 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 it's just an example. Okay, so I hope you understand that we do not tolerate plagiarism. Uh, one policy according to the academic department or academic affairs is that if there is a plagiarism, there is a corresponding grievance or uh, punishment. Okay, once it is proof, it's, it's, it's uh, equivalent to cheating. Okay, during the exam. During the exam, of course, that's uh, also having a grievance or punishment. Okay, so we'll go on, calculate and use formulas and functions in Microsoft Excel, design and develop variety of financial types of documents. So Excel here, uh, and then PowerPoint. Uh, PowerPoint is just uh, very fast um, and very, a very quick uh, topic, of course, because we understand that you are very familiar with PowerPoint. And then database, we're going to have additional database. Some of you may be a very familiar Word, Excel, PowerPoint, but not in database. So let's see if what I can teach you here. Okay, so the study skills that I was referring earlier is already integrated in this course and in your English and in your math because study skills are soft skills. Study skills are the things or the skills that you're learning, but you don't really realize that you're learning. So for example, the first is we're going to require you to have a portfolio for the course. Okay, we're in activities, assessments, and other documents pertaining to the course will be uh, put on that folder. Okay, uh, in your online classes, I think all of us in your uh, IT teachers, we ask our students uh, last two weeks ago uh, on preparing or creating a folder in OneDrive and naming it and then sharing it to your team. So we will ask you to do that again uh, or maybe just use the same folder. I will uh, decide on this. I will give you instructions. For now, let's leave it like that just to inform you that there will be a folder that has to be shared with me and all your activities will be there. Okay, so that's where you're going to submit all your exercises. Okay, prepare to meet deadlines for submission of the activities. So that's why, see, if you're going to read this, use time and resources effectively and complete task assessments within the given limit. You're not, you, you, you're, you're not aware that you're learning the skills in the university. Okay, so our goal is not only the topics that you will learn, 
but also or the skills that you will learn academically, but also this one. Okay, we are keeping that in mind. So whatever activities uh, that I ask you to do, or I will ask you to do, you're learning also this one. Um, if you're also my student in uh, the IT online classes, actually what I ask them to do is to be familiar with the tools that I uh, uh, that we use there, the MS Teams, the uh, Moodle, the OneDrive, and so on. Okay, it is not important there. What's the content of the one of the the file that they're going to submit? It doesn't matter. What is what matters is you learn those tools. Okay, and this is the same thing that we're going to do here. Uh, we're going to uh, going to give you some exercises, and what's inside there is not important. What's important is you learning the way or those uh, those skills in Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and Access. Okay, the topics are here. Uh, it's just uh, specify, you just read this. Okay, the distribution of student workload, it's 36 hours per semester. Uh, I'm sorry about this, this is a typo, it's a term. Okay, why? Because we have four hours a week of meeting, so we call it contact hours, and the whole contact hours for the whole term is 36 because in a term we have nine weeks. Okay, so how about the self-directed studies? These are the hours that we are going to allot to you uh, to do those exercises. So meaning in the whole term of nine weeks, at least you have two hours on your own that you will do stuff regarding IT, your exercises, assignment, if there are, okay? So that's what we call self-directed studies. Oh, this is what I'm saying. We have four hours per week. We have two meetings of two hours, okay? Uh, section two, I'm uh, going to meet you again Thursday uh, 10 a.m. Mr. Um, Mr. Yes, sir. Uh, again, the first rule that I said, you raise your hand if you want, if you need some question, if you want to ask some question. Okay. okay so I will. I will ask you. To, I will give you time to ask those questions. Let me just finish. Is it fair, Mr. Sultan? Okay. Let me just finish. I'll give you all those chances later on. Okay. Uh, what are the requirements to pass the course? Submit the course portfolio, which we discussed earlier. What are the course portfolio? A folder in OneDrive where you will put all the activities, assessments, and other uh, requirements that I will ask you to put, including this, the course syllabus that we are discussing right now, or course description or course specification, must be copied, downloaded, and put there on that folder. For now, don't do anything. Please wait for my final announcement or instructions on this. Okay, do not do anything yet. This is our orientation. I'm not asking you to do anything. Okay, I just ask you to listen carefully. Okay, all exercises, of course, must be on that portfolio. So it's very important. And pass key application module exam. So module exam for key application is module B. Module B, key application. Module B, key application. A lot of students, uh, they don't try to remember. They ignore those, uh, you know, uh, details. Like, for example, if the students finish the IT courses and they still failed, we will ask them, what module did you fail? They will tell us, uh, I don't remember module C, A, B, there are just three. Okay, so you just need to remember module B is key application, B. Okay, assessment policy. Students are required to complete the formatted assessments given by the lecturer. What is the formatted assessment? Submit the course portfolio, practice test, and having 900 points on the practice test. Okay, why is it 900? Again, I will, let me explain the... Uh, exam, the actual exam in IC3. Each module has an exam, three modules, A, B, and C. We're starting with B, 
key applications. Okay. Uh, in that exam, there's 1,000 points. Okay. So, but the number of questions is around 45, less than 50. Okay. It depends on what module. I think in module B, it's going to be 48 questions. Now, there's an equivalent score, which is 1,000 for a perfect score. To pass that, you need 700. So all this exam needs 700 to pass. So that's 70%, uh, okay? So that's how you're going to do in the actual exam. We will give you a practice test, okay? Meaning it's gonna be another website. We will give you login details, some uh, activation code and so on. Okay, so once you're doing the test, you can repeat it uh, several times. There is an allowance on repeating the practice test, repeat, repeat. Also, there's a portion there that explains the answer to that uh, exam or the test, the practice test, okay? The practice test gives you idea on the environment of the exam. Environment means the feel, the wordings, okay? The wordings of the questions, how the questions is being asked. Uh, so those are the things why you need the practice test. But since this is a practice test, we will require you for a 900 points for the practice test or test. So it's either one practice test or two practice tests in that module. So it depends. We will see. Uh, actually, I forgot already because I already I only taught uh, IC3 last year also. So right now I forget if module B have two practice tests or only one. If there are two practice tests there, different practice tests, then I will require you for two practice tests. Practice test one to have 900 points and practice test two to have 900 points. How am I going to know that you did this? You have to give me the screenshot of the score window. Okay, screenshot, send it to me. Okay, or go give, uh, I mean, I will ask you to submit on the portfolio. Do you know already how to screenshot? How to, uh, from the desktop, from your laptop, how to make those screenshots? I hope you do, okay? So because you're gonna need that in this exam, I mean, in this uh, course. Okay, so that's one of the requirements on that portfolio, your exercises, uh, this course specification, and uh, what else? the practice test screenshot okay uh, if you will not finish all these assessments all these uh, requirements that i'm asking you then you will not be allowed to take the examination okay on that scheduled exam day or exam time okay so what do we mean all the students will do the first take within the course okay if they fail they will repeat okay uh, it's mandatory that you repeat and repeat if you fail again and repeat if you fail again okay but when we call repeat exam okay for each module uh it's not free anymore okay you have to pay the first time you're gonna take it and it's within the bound of the course meaning you submit all the assessment, you don't have anything, I mean, you don't have a problem, okay? That's free, okay? That that will be given to you. It's covered within your uh, registration of the course, so that's, that's there, okay? But any repeat that you will, you have to pay 15 riyas, one five, okay? As long as you repeat, you repeat, you pay, you repeat, you pay. Okay, where will you pay? Not to me. Okay, we have a cashier, we have a finance department here at GU Tech. You can pay there. Uh, and then you will uh, present to us the bill, and then you can do the repeat exam, not the first take. The first take is free again. Not, actually, I don't want to call it free, it's uh, covered in your registration. Okay, attendance policy. 10%, uh, 15%, 20%, 10% of your number of hours absent. So for example, we're talking about 36 hours in this term. 
how do we compute the final warning? I think this was discussed to you during the orientation. If you were my student also at the online classes, I discussed this, we discussed this in your activity. 20% uh, absence is rich. That means you are debarred from the exam. Since we are having key application exam here, you will be debarred. When you are debarred, that means that first take exam, you will not be allowed to go there. But you can still take the exam on the repeat. Okay, so that means what will happen? You have to pay 15 real. Okay? Okay. Okay. Uh, when you reach a 20% absence, this will be communicated in writing to you and it will be also copied to your sponsor. So if you're a sponsor of Minister of Higher Education, your, your study here at Geotech is sponsored by Mohe, by Takatuf, okay, you will be, they will be copied of this warning letters, okay? We take absences seriously here at the Geotech Foundation because it's uh, we need to give them to your sponsors. Okay, so to summarize, uh, let me just see if I need to discuss anything. So you have here a primary textbook. We have a, what we call ebook at the uh, at Geotech. So we will see how will you have a an access to that for now, uh, because what I I know is that the these ebooks are installed or can be cap can be accessed through the library only okay but now since you cannot come to the library first uh, physically so we will try to check out how will you be given a an access for these ebooks for our topics okay to summarize this course specifications serves as our contract when we say contract you must follow Okay, I'm the one who will implement this. If you will not follow this, then there's uh, a consequence. Okay, and mostly this part, requirements to pass the course. This is the most important part here. Okay, it says three things. Okay, to, uh, to take the exam, the module exam, Okay, to take the module exam, you must finish all your assessment. You must not have 20% absence. Okay, those are what uh, you need to take the exam. You must pass the application, uh, the, the, the exam module exam to pass the course or to even uh, at least to finish one module exam out of the three. Okay, so to summarize this, uh, Paying of 15 rials, if you're seeing this, 15 rials. When is the time that you are going to pay 15 rials for an exam? Just one exam, huh? not the whole exam. Okay, three, three situations. First, if you reach 20% absence, you will not be allowed to do the first take. You can be allowed to do a repeat, but you have to pay 15 rials. Second, if you will not completely submit all these requirements, submit course portfolio, all the exercises, and the practice test. Okay, and lastly, when? I will ask you to think. One, attendance, two, uh, completion of exercises and uh, requirements, three, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, I gave you time to think when you fail the exam on the first take. Of course, you need to do the repeat. You will pay 15 reals. Okay, so I will end my sharing now. I'll give you time. Uh, first rule that I'm asking my student is to raise your hand if they want to ask question. I will not read conversation. I will ask you to tell me Verbally, yes, is Saldo Saidi? Question, Isa? About the About book, the book uh, uh, do we get it, get it from the library? From the library? Uh, that's what I just said. I just said we do not know yet how to give you the access because you are not allowed to come to the campus. Okay. We will okay. figure that out and we will let you know. 
it's an ebook okay ebook is in the computers or installed in the computers uh, or, how do you access, how do you access the ebook e as i said we will figure that out oh, because okay, okay, for okay. now it's in the computer of our library okay any more raise your hand if you have a question sultan al kasmi you were asking question earlier Yes, Mr. Yes, Mr. Uh, I was asking about, was asking about the 18 hours. I didn't really get what you meant about them. That means it doesn't matter when do you want to do your activities at home regarding geotechnic, ah, uh, IT, 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 our IT class. We're giving you 18 hours. What I'm saying is the whole term, if I will give you assignments or anything to think about IT or any works related to IT class, that's 18 hours. Self-directed, that's on your own. Uh, uh, is it is it an average or what? Or it's uh, like because I might work anytime, you know? Yes, yes, sir. You don't have to report to me about those words. What I'm saying is that Students at Geotech, in each course, we are computing how much they will work at home or on their free time, not during the class time. Okay, we are doing that. We compute that 18 hours. All of these assessments, assignments, if you could uh, compute that for the whole term, outside the class, we are estimating 18 hours that whatever works we're going to give you outside the class, that's 18 hours. Can you follow? Sultan? Yeah, uh, yes, I'm with you, with you, with you. Okay. Anybody else? Anybody else? Raise your hand. Abdul Rahman, yes. How are you, Al Kindi? Um, good. Um, how are you? How are you? I'm fine, sir. Uh, Mr. Sir. Is asking, how long would one term be? One term is nine weeks. Actually, our term one started on September 20. So September 20, that means we already finished two weeks. We are on the third week. So this term will finish on 19th November. Okay, and I'm not sure if there are classes that time or some holidays, I'm not sure. Okay, but we, uh, uh, so 19 November. So term is nine weeks. We are left with seven weeks. We're doing already one week. So I'm left with six weeks later on. So I need to hurry up. I need to, uh, give you double time on doing this uh, activities lessons that we're going to do. You will need a laptop next meeting, so please prepare your laptops with Microsoft Offices. You are a student of Geotech now, so if you go to office.com, you log in there, you know that you can access the web application like Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. Correct. But if you have a laptop, and I need you to have a laptop, you can download the application Word, Excel, PowerPoint and access through that. Okay, you can download Office 365. That's what I'm saying on your computer. And because you are a student of Geotech, the activation of this software is through Geotech. So you don't have to pay or anything like that. Okay, so I will need you to have a laptop and those applications next meeting installed on your laptop. Okay, the first activity that you need to do. Yes, Mr. Sultan, tell me. So, Mr., we will be doing the exams at the end of the, the end of the, after the yes. six weeks, yeah? Yes, yes. 
That's correct. But for now, I cannot give you more information about the exam because the exam requires you to be physically present on the computer laboratory with us. Ah, I, okay. This, this IC3 exams has to be done here because first, the software is installed here. We cannot I cannot ask you to uh, uh, download the software from your house because there are configurations that only us here at Geotech uh, can do. Okay, it's gonna be difficult if you will install it by yourself. And second, the password should come from us. Okay, so we will have to type in a password for you to do the exam before starting the exam, as in before. Okay, you are there, you're going to log in with your details, and then uh, you're going to go to a page where they will ask us to sign, okay, to log in, so to verify that you are going to take the exam. So that's the situation. That's why you need to be here. So for now, I cannot give you information unless we have a uh, clear something. But in any case, even if this is not going to happen this term, Okay, we need to always be ready once they call you or once we call you, your exam will be at this date for module B. You cannot tell us, Mr. Orvin, we cannot come there because we forgot already the exams. There are practice tests, don't worry, you can always remember that. Okay, so I'm just saying that we do not know yet exactly how the exam will be. We are hoping by November at least you will be allowed to do the exams at least at the campus, at the university. Only the exams. If they want us to be doing online classes, no problem. But at least the exam, we will try to do that. Okay? Uh, we will try to push for it and ask for approval and uh, permission from the ministry. Something like this. Okay, any more questions? By the way, the whole academic year for foundation, Tarek, wait one minute. Huh? Uh, the whole academic year for foundation is uh, four terms, term one, term two, term three, term four. Uh, it's equivalent to, two terms is equivalent to one semester. Term one and two is uh, winter. Uh, term three and four is spring. Okay, now let me just give you the academic calendar or schedule if you want, you can go to the website and look for the academic calendar so that you know when is the break, when is the start, and when is the thing. But just to give you an idea, you can compute. Our term right now will finish on 19th November. Tarek, I'll come back to you. Huh? Just give me a minute. Uh, 19th November. Then there will be one week break for students. Okay. Then we will start term two after that. Okay. Term one, one week break, term two. After term two, we will have two weeks break for the students, only for students, not the staff. We are going to work, we are uh, employees. Uh, okay, two weeks, then term three. And after term three, one week break, then term four again, last term. Okay, so just refer to the academic calendar or just compute. You will know that. Okay, sorry, Tarek, go ahead. Uh, will someone be all online or will we go to some classes on campus? Uh, for now, the direction is everything will be online. You are not allowed to the campus. That might change later on if they said, okay, face to face camp uh, classes will uh, resume on November like this. So we'll have to call you and attend classes here. Okay. okay. Uh, at this time, I gave you a timetable, and that is good for online classes. But it is also ready for uh, what they call this for face-to-face -face or on campus. What I'm saying is that that might possibly be your uh, schedule. Okay, or timetable for the face-to-face -face online classes. There's a classroom already allotted there. It's just possible that if we will start on a face-to-face, -face, depending on the direction or the instruction to me, 
uh, for example, you have four hours class in IT. I have 23 students. So what will happen is I will divide you into two groups okay, in this class. One will attend on Monday and one will attend on Thursday. So I will divide you into two groups. So because of social distancing, we cannot accommodate 25 students in one computer laboratory and just one teacher. Okay, so that's what it, uh, how it will happen. Maybe in the future, okay, if they said, okay, uh, next week, all students will go to the campus face to face and so on and so forth. Okay, if that happens, then I'm going to be ready with uh, the timetable. I need to follow the same timetable, but I need to divide you. Even in your other classes, I will do that. Okay, so there will be two subgroups. Okay, in each group of timetable that I gave. Okay, so for, uh, but what I know is that for your English, the two hours, the two hours that was given to you, it's a project based English, advanced English, we call this. Um, it will be online all throughout, whatever happened. Okay, uh, I think it will be online. Not sure if you met the teacher yet. Uh, if it, she's ready right now, she's not in in uh, Oman. She's going to teach you online or give you some works or um, facilitate that two hours of your English class outside of Oman. Okay, so she will meet you on the time that uh, I gave you on the timetable. Any more questions? Raise your hand if you have a question. Ah. Okay, so if that's it, thank you very much. I will stop recording now. Okay, if you have a class,